보석 투. Let's not forget he spent 200 minerals making pylons that accomplished nothing as yeah. well. So wasn't able to get a full wall. Wasn't able to make a forge. Had he canceled the pylons and scouted this, you know, coming across earlier, if he had just sent the probe into the main instead of, you know, focusing so hard on thinking that Pet was going for a late game uh, kind of style. Then he, he probably would have held that one, but not the case. They're going to be jumping into game number four now. It's going to be on Galactic Process. So let's see if Neep can close it out, or is Pet going to make it close on game number four? Welcome to Galactic Process for game number four. Down here at the seven o'clock position, the Bronos player, the far and hope it is Neeb. Lost his first game to this man to the top right in green. It is Pet. He's been playing in the Korean scene since the beta was on the next clan. And it really took him about six years to ever have a result this good. And his dreams may be crushed by Neeb in huh. this round of, <laughs> this round of eight match. So cute. Delaying that gas by just a bit. Obviously not a not a huge steal, but pretty annoying for Pet. Yeah. I like how aggressively Neeb scouts and harasses with his workers. Um, it reminds me of what we used to see a lot from Parting specifically. Or um, Huck too. Or Huck, yeah. yeah. The Huck probe. Harding was doing that for a long time, then eventually like never scouted for like a whole year. I don't think he ever did. Um, totally went full circle on that one, but uh, yes, Huck would have drawn a heart while he was doing it, but in this case, just gonna be a hatch block <laughs> with the probe on patrol. Um, for those who wonder why the probe patrols like that, it's actually so that you don't have it on your idle worker count. Um, if you leave a probe like that, the game's UI will tell you you have an idle worker, which is just not true because the probe is in fact doing something, accomplishing something, but if you have enough control like that, then it does not show in that counter. So this is something that Neve has done several times. You're wondering why he does that. Yeah, uh, also, that's why. Also, it, it doesn't run away when it gets attacked, you know, when, it, yeah. when it's patrolling. So if you're not paying attention and say, like, the Zerg drone picks at it and it runs away and then he just puts down your hatchery, you look back, you're like, oh, I didn't get the block, right? Yeah. But it'll just keep patrolling even if it gets attacked. So you know that you're getting the block even if it's taking damage and you're not paying attention. That's absolutely true. That's a good point. They're not going to, you know, sneak that down. You see other players do it as well. You know, Maru likes to patrol his SCVs before he does a proxy, for example, before he has the money. Evo Chamber coming up here early. I imagine that this will be for plus one again, although last time I made an assumption about this being a drop, it was not, in fact. And he does have this Overlord over here, so well, this time it's going to be the drop, Caster Curse. And more links, just only links, basically, being made here. He's on 19 drones, so this looks like an elevator all-in, you know? Uh, make, uh, get eight links into the main, or rather, you know, behind the wall, and then, you know, put them up, and then get the other eight links, and then put them up on the high ground, and then you got 16 links in the Protoss base, and, you can follow up from there. It's insanely powerful, obviously. Link speed is not ready yet, but he does not see this. And he sees more links coming across here. Now, this is basically countering Neeb style. Neeb is always sending his adepts aggressively across the map. They're never at home. He has a tight wall off here with this Stalker, but he has no way to stop these links. Link speed is going to be done in one second here, and he's going to need to bring his adepts back. Another gateway in the main. This is going to be helpful. OK, let's see how well he handles this. Already pulling his probes away. The Stalker is going to get surrounded, though. And now we can just rally links across. Adepts come out just in time, though. The Adepts, but they don't hold the wall. They don't hold it, and the Ling stream on in and get the surround on both of these Adepts, and he's going to be able to kill this Pylon as well. That's, That's probably going to be, be game. It. He doesn't have any more units. GG! And with two back-to-back cheeses, Pet is able to bring us to a game five. He could knock Neeb out of this tournament. Let's not forget that these two players are friends. They practice together. They train together. 
And now, after Neve straight up crushes him, 2-0, two, two cheeses, you know, against his somewhat predictable style in this matchup, in this tournament.